hey, it's a, uh, you know, normal Monday night, <laughs> Ryan behind the camera. Um, we got home the other night, Friday, when we went out and got into bed and the coyotes started going nuts, like 2.30 in the morning, but it was so foggy, we we couldn't, just couldn't see. Um, and <laughs> Sunday morning, or Saturday morning, my husband's like, hey, I got a bone to pick with you. He's like, you're out traipsing all over the county. He's like, and these coyotes are in the backyard keeping me up at night. So we were kind of laughing about it. And then Saturday night, my father-in-law called me at like 9.15. He's like, hey, the coyotes are out back. I'm like, are you sure you don't hear the neighbor's kids squealing? I know what a coyote sounds like. I'm like, are you sure it wasn't? And I like said like three things. He's like, Janelle. I'm like, okay, I know. I'm kidding. I know they're back there. So we decided after a short night Friday, we were going to try and get out one night this week. Wind was supposed to be a little bit more than it was, but you know, them weathermen, they like to lie. So we decided to go anyway. We've been kind of being, I think, too cautious with the conditions, you know, no wind or too full of moon. And um, so I talked to Brian earlier and I'm like, hey, eight o'clock, let's, let's meet. So we got out here and I looked at Brian. I'm like, I hope this doesn't take as long as it did last time. So last time we killed one here in the backyard, it took us over an hour. I mean, we were ready to pack our stuff up when we looked up and, and saw them coming in. So two of them came in. Um, there's a pretty big swale, uh, like two thirds of the way across the field. I think it's like almost 300 um, to the west side. And they came in and I was kind of following the, the first one and Brian was like, oh, there's, he's like, I'm like, I'm going to, you know, take the one on the right. He's like, yeah, take the one on the right. And he, I don't know if he said, I don't, did you say something about was when they stop or? Yeah, I, that up? I, I did. Know. I said mine, mine stopped because I wasn't sure. I couldn't see hers. Oh, so. I don't even know if I heard you say that. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. So, and I didn't even, I think I only zoomed in like maybe six or seven, not a lot. And uh, mine was just charging, it came up out of the out of the swale and I couldn't see his anymore. I had no idea what was going on. I rah, rah, barked twice. Or, rah, rah, rah. I ended up having to kind of get like a high pitch howl for mine to stop. And like I said, at this point, I have no idea what his is doing. I'm assuming cause he's not shooting. It's not stopped either. But, um, so mine finally stopped and I, I shot. Where'd yours go? Oh, there it is. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, that one hurt me. And then my scope nuked right after my shot. Thankfully not like right during or just before, but um and I couldn't I couldn't find his right away. And then eventually my scope cleared up and I it was it was back and we're we're guessing 175 185 so a little bit further not crazy and brian shot he felt good about it but i don't know it ran away and then maybe five or ten minutes later started barking at us so um not sure what happened there we're definitely gonna oh there it is yeah you're just talking about him <laughs> probably her um Anyway, so I got a male. It's a pretty decent size here. I want to back up. I can lift it up. Yeah, 34. 35, five, yeah. 35 pounds. Oh, I better go this way. Let's, let's do that. Pretty big. Yep. Not yep. quite as big as my brother's the other day, but. <clears throat> um, yeah, the old Grendel first. That's a different one. That's not this, that's this way. First kill since uh, I put the new Thor 5 on it. So feeling pretty good. And uh, well, we might get the call back out. 
It sounds close. Oh, it's oh, right it in the field. It's right in the field. All right, we gotta okay, go. Okay, we gotta go.